Hi, I'm Christopher Johnson, founder and CEO of Conferent Approach. We are looking for partners in many European countries, but for the moment we have a focus on UK and that for a special concept. Uh, let me share my screen, please. So here we are. As I told, we're looking for partners, especially in UK, Germany and France for a special concept. And the business we offer uh, is a concept which I very soon will go into, uh, is that you will work on end users uh, and it's scalable because the test is involved in the whole process that are very unique in many ways. Uh, we also train consultants that can buy from our partner in your country. Uh, and we recommend that because you will not take any be all the business yourself. So it could be good to have other good consultants actually using the concept as well. But that's a discussion later on if you choose to be a partner. So partners do everything. They deliver to end users, sales to end users. They also find maybe internal consultants. Uh, maybe some external consultants they work closely to, and they sell test and training material and the whole concept to them. That's the idea, and we can go closer into that uh, later on. But if we don't have a concept you're interested in, it doesn't matter if we have the best terms ever in the world. So what is it all about? This I learned many, many years ago. And have you been in sales? and seen all the studies and another one, you will find out when you read it, it's almost always the same. With a few exceptions, all studies I read say that the people who sell more than others are more active than the people who sell less. They use some different words for that, more proactive, even faster in the reactive process or they take in contact faster, you know, all the things I've seen from the latest from uh, both Gartner and Rain Group uh, studies, and they coming, big studies around 2,000, 3,000 people, that are quite big anyway, and when they divide low average and top pro producer on each other, the finding is almost the same again the winners are the more active people. They have more clients to sell to because they prospect more. And we all know this. So why isn't there any research or why some people are more active than others? Yeah, it is. So what is the background for this? Two researchers coming from the American Marines, working with fear and soldiers. So we got that with us as well. But they checked it out as well, and they come to the to the same conclusion that the people who sell more, they actually take more contacts. That that's the easy. Everyone still in the field, they are as well trained as others. So when it comes to them, the people that are staying in the industry and selling for the industry, they are all well trained. So it's only the numbers getting left, with some exceptions, of course. Everything has some exception, but we can't live with exceptions. We need to live with the what's giving results. So why are some people more active than others? We call it motivation. And everyone has agreed that, yeah, if there is a sell more, must be more vet motivated. Motivation actually is the background for more activity. Motivation for me is the uh, petrol in the tank every morning, but petrol for one thing, petrol for prospecting. There are other tests that make mess and motivation. Motivation for leadership. That doesn't help the salesperson. The salesperson need the petrol for prospecting. That's the important part. So we call it actually physical energy. And we wonder how much you have. Do you have so it's enough to do your sales job? Do you have it the whole day? And how snap do you refill your tank? And that physical energy, that motivation for prospecting should be used into your goals. 
That means you know your targets, you know your strategy to reach your budget quota, however you express it, and you need to pursue it every day. So you need to break it down, number of contacts every day, whatever you need. But when this energy is going over, you all heard the excuses. Why I can't do another call? Why I didn't thought it was the right situation to take contact or ask for the order, even if I'm trained to ask in that situation. And that we call sales call reluctance. And that is actually an emotional short circuit. And we have found 16 different types that actually makes people procrastinate driven by fear in the bottom but some people doesn't even feel fear anymore and some of them actually still people feeling fear like stage fright and telephobia people can feel that in their hands in their stomach with butterflies in the chest of course but if it's just an attitude to protect you, like I'm afraid of being too pushy, I don't want to be too much because they maybe don't like me then, so I wait for the right moment. Actually, the most common one we call yielder. They don't really feel it that way, but they don't do what sales trainer taught them to do. They don't ask for the order. They wait for the contact so it get much, much less contacts than others. Actually, uh, one of the studies say on the same number of meetings for a person suffering from yielder tendencies compared to one who didn't suffer from yielder tendencies, they make half the money on the same number of visits. So it's a very costly type. And as I told you here, we have found 16 different types. These are the 16. We will not go through them here. Just want you to see them. And we measure all them, of course. We made a study for, uh, for low, moderate, and high performers, correlated all test cases we have to that and see are is the, the same on all scales, that the more you perform, the better value you have on the scale. And yes, this one you can look at if you want, but I took the most common one. And this is in the scale zero to 100. Low performers only had around 56 in the scale zero to 100 in the tank with petrol. Top producer have 75% of the tank full. Goal orientation the same. How much of the energy is used to procrastinate, handle what these 16 different types? Yeah, the less they have, the more they sell. And the two most common one who was most costly, a yielder, fear of being too intrusive asking for the order and so on, or using the phone to prospect, yeah, it was very costly. And we see, as we expected, the less fear you have, the less resistance you have, the more energy will go to what you want to do. The more petrol you have to do what you want to do, of course, you will sell more. And we do have test scales for this and that measure all this nice, colorful, and so on, which I can show you later. We also have a workshop for it, a coaching se coaching sessions for it with methods from cognitive behavior training, how you help salespeople get rid at least of the 16 types of core reluctance. Motivation, as you understand, is, is petrol in the tank. Could be many reasons why people have not enough. Everything from you're drinking too much and then I don't talk water to you have are in argument at home, uh, in divorce and so on, that eats energy or a quarry will you manage They also eat energy, of course. So there, in that case, we need to find out with the, with the client or the person what is going on in her or his life. The same with low goal orientation. Why are you not really want to do this and find out what's behind it? That is typically consultant work uh, in many ways. This is the concept with a test and everything else behind it. 40 years of research put into the sky of SIOP, uh, the American uh, Society of Industrial Organization Psychology, have said you, if you are in sales and training sales, whatever, working with salespeople, you need to look into the, this because this is fantastic research with top tools you can find. 
Yeah, I have that letter from uh, Syop's paper as well. So if you're interested, I can send you to it to you so you know I'm not cheating. It's actually they have written that. This is a top-notch thing. If you want to work or help salespeople get rid of their inner resistance so they feel better, can be more active, you will get even more output of your sales training. This is what we offer you to do. Something completely new on the market for most companies. So you can offer that too, which no one else had, have offered. A program that will increase the activity for all salespeople in the company and it will give results. We stop there. If you think this is interesting, please let us have a meeting. And thanks and thank you for listening. And I hope you will be back.